Well, this is Bobby at Copel TV Repair with a dual functionality pro video for two different boards for Panasonic for two different customers. One is the SC board 5351 that was sent by a customer and stayed here longer than it should have been. I sincerely apologize about that. We're just overloaded. And this was a lot of work. Uh, it has been worked on before. It had transistors here that were replaced and two of them were DG301 and the third one was DG302. The same turned out to be in the lower um, sustain formation and those three were not replaced at all. Uh, so we spoke with a customer. Those three, all nine are now, re now replaced. These are the proper 30F 131s I believe those three those are the proper DG 301s and the board is just being tested and uh, making sure that it's functioning the other board is for Dean TV repair and it was purchased on eBay and I just want to show that it is working the top IC was replaced you can see the translucent silicone nothing fancy mind the connectors this is the number one problem of course what you want to see is if I'm working together in a video, um, I don't know if you can see there is a one tiny line there at the top half and there is another one in the bottom. This is bad panel. Many of our plasma panels have issues like that. This is the line there. Uh, many of our plasma panels, there is another one somewhere here on the bottom buffer as well. Oh, even two. Um, that's because of all those multiple extractions, insertions. There's just lines that are cut or detaching from the back of the panel. It, those things do develop with plasmas, especially if you use them as heavily for the sake of testing as we do. Uh, so that is all. Both boards are working. Uh, today is August 29th and uh, they will go to their respective owners. This one is paid, this one will be invoiced. Thank you very much and uh, happy repairing.